everyone. <coughs> uh, today I would like to continue my previous lecture making decisions in uh, complex positions. Uh, during the game uh, you have many moments when you need to make decision. And uh, last time we uh, finished our lecture in this position after bishop b1. This was uh, my game from US uh, Senior Championship uh, 2022 versus Grandmaster Larry Christensen. I was trying <coughs> to create fortress here uh, with knight c3, pawn b4, and king c3. It was uh, looking like uh, it's possible to create fortress, but after bishop f1, I didn't find uh, good opportunity. And here I needed uh, to make the most critical decision uh, in the game. Uh, unfortunately, I played f4 here, and after this move, position is absolutely uh, lost. Uh, black played uh, king f5. As I pointed uh, uh, last time, uh, king f2 in this position was bad because of king g4 and black king penetrates into uh, white's camp and uh, white is lost here because he is uh, lost uh, before pawn. So I played f4 instead and after uh, king takes a uh, king f5 uh, I played king f2 uh, probably uh, most stubborn uh, wa was knight e4 here but anyway after bishop takes g2 knight d6 king f6 if uh, king e6 then uh, there is uh, double attack uh, knight e8 and now pawn on g7 is hanging and also uh, knight c7 is a threat uh, so uh, king f6 b5 white is trying uh, to trade pawns on the uh, queen side but here uh, there is a very strong move. King e6, knight e8, a takes b5. And uh, in this position, again, uh, white has choice between knight g7, knight takes g7, check, and knight c7. But unfortunately, both uh, moves uh, cannot help uh, save the game for white. For example, after uh, knight takes g7, black can play king f6, knight takes h5, king g6, the knight is trapped, the only move is g4, but after f5, uh, black is winning uh, g4 pawn. And with uh, pawns on uh, b and g files, uh, white knight cannot do anything uh, to help save the game. Uh, for example, after knight g3, f takes g4, white can try uh, to fight, but uh, bishop c6, and this position is lost. The rest can be uh, king b4, king e6, bishop e8, king d4, Sorry, uh, after uh, king d4, uh, bishop uh, c6, uh, and now uh, 
black uh, lost the tempo, but after uh, king d4, king d6, uh, he is ready, uh, black king has ready uh, to help to be pawn. Again, knight g3, bishop e6, and uh, position is lost. Also, uh, after uh, knight c7, instead of a knight takes g7, uh, black is winning uh, endgame with uh, three pounds on the king side versus two pounds on the king side uh, because of uh, very strong h4 opportunity and, uh, uh, after g takes h4 king takes f4 uh, collection uh, also h pawn for example knight d6 here h4 simply g6 bishop f3 and uh, black wins a pawn on h4 Winning the game. So e even uh, most stubborn move for knight e4 or could not help in this position. So I played king f2, bishop b5. The pawn is lost here because uh, black has uh, uh, two more extra tempers. Uh, for his uh, uh, pawns uh, moves f6, g6, f5, and uh, black can always win in a position. Uh, after king f3, uh, bishop c6, king e3, uh, black is simply winning, uh, pushing his pawns on the king side first, f6, king f2, g5. Uh, he even uh, does need uh, to capture pawn on g2, allowing some chances for a draw after b5, before b5. Uh, and after g5, f takes g5, f takes g5, king e3, uh, king e5. Now uh, white is in sux1, and uh, it's impossible to keep all uh, squares under control uh, d4 e4 f4 and uh, uh, black is winning here but uh, in the position I gave you as uh, homework uh, white had an amazing opportunity to make a draw here and to create the real fortress. In the game, I was unable to uh, build this fortress, but in this position, white has such opportunity. Uh, did uh, anybody find uh, this way? Yes, Robust, uh, G4, uh, this excellent opportunity, an amazing uh, resource. White could make a draw after G4, G3 to G4. And what is idea of this move? Uh, on the first side, it's un unclear why uh, G4 uh, could lead to a draw, but uh, let's uh, look at this position. First of all, uh, White's idea is to uh, have a G4 a square occupied by a black pawn, after which black king cannot penetrate uh, on the king side through g4 square. For example, after h takes g4, white plays f4, king f5, g3, 
And now you see that all squares on the fifth rank are on uh, white pieces control. And now this is uh, fortress. And even if a black tries uh, to break this fortress, g5, f takes uh, g5, king takes g5, uh, it's uh, enough uh, for the white to put his knight on f4. Uh, he can play knight e4 check, but also uh, knight d5 uh, leads to a draw, and uh, black cannot make any progress. For example, after king f5, king goes to d4, and then uh, white can simply uh, wait, uh, putting his knight on f4, and he has uh, enough squares uh, for the knight, uh, and th there is no any took one. White can go from f4 to h5. If uh, black uh, bishop uh, will not be on f1, then g2 square, e2, d3, d5. Uh, there are uh, many squares for uh, white knight. Uh, white knight uh, and black uh, cannot. Uh, break this fortress. But uh, so uh, g4 was very nice shot, but uh, black uh, has another options here. Why uh, he should uh, uh, take on g4, Ellen White to build the fortress? He can play uh, bishop takes g2 instead. And this is uh, another. Uh, option for black to play for a win. But uh, here white can play f4 check, king f6, and g takes h5. And it seems that uh, black again uh, cannot do anything. For example, after king f6, or uh, le let's start with uh, king f5, uh, white can use his uh, b pawn to divert uh, black king to the queen side, and after that, white can start play against black pawns on the king side. Let's look. b5. Now, a takes b5. Uh, Doesn't help because after knight takes b5, king g4, knight d6, uh, white is uh, just on time to attack g7 pawn. Bishop uh, d5, knight a8, and white uh, either trade uh, g7 uh, for h5 pawn with a draw. Or after g6, uh, g6 is e even impossible because of h6. So after uh, king takes h5, knight takes g7, uh, it's easy draw. So uh, a takes b5 is not an option. Uh, black should try a5. And now b6. And let's look how uh, white can create threats uh, to the uh, black pawns on the king side. For example, after bishop a8, he can play knight b5, king g4, knight c7, bishop c6, knight a8. And now, uh, the king, white king, is uh, in the square of a pawn, and white knight has time uh, to capture uh, black pawns uh, on the king side. In case of uh, king e6, here, again, knight b5. 
after king d7 white has a very strong continuation f5 now f6 is a threat and if uh, black plays f6 then knight can attack g7 pawn through e6 square for example a4 king g3 bishop d5 king c3 a3 and now simply uh, knight e6 and white uh, cannot uh, lose here uh, because uh, he uh, corrects the g7 pawn and this uh, draw if uh, instead of king g7 a4 then uh, white king is uh, going to the uh, square of a4 pawn and here again uh, f6 or uh, king f5 let's start with king f5 doesn't help because of knight d6 knight takes f7 king g4 and simply h6 trading uh, pounds on the king side and uh, making a draw uh, instead of king f5 black can start with f6 move but anyway it does help king c3 king f5 king g4 and again uh, white is on time to uh, win g7 pound again a white is able to make a draw here so it seems that uh, this position after g takes h5 is a draw so bishop uh, takes g2 does help uh, to win but uh, black has a very strong chance to play h4 here what to do in this position and suddenly white can create another real fortress he can play f4 check here king d6 now king f2 bishop c4 and here g3 So white is forcing a black pawn either to trade on g3, after which uh, it will be the fortress with uh, again all squares on the uh, all uh, control squares on the fifth rank uh, with pawns uh, on b4, f4, and knight on c3. And in case of h3. Uh, Black's idea is to create uh, threats after, uh, for example, f6, then he can try uh, to put his bishop first on g2, and when white will be in sux1, and, uh, and uh, king is on g1 then attack pawn on g4 after bishop f3 and after that uh, uh, black uh, can break the fortress but white has g5 pawn now or g5 move now and again uh, there is a fortress uh, on the board uh, let's look after bishop e6 simply king g1 now uh, black can do uh, nothing uh, because uh, uh, white can simply play king h2 uh, king g1 uh, waiting after uh, bishop uh, d5 king h2 uh, again uh, white's idea is uh, to capture this pawn and if uh, uh, 
a black tries to protect it with the uh, bishop, then I can cover uh, the last uh, square f5, uh, sorry, f5 with g power. And after g4, uh, it's uh, e easy draw because now uh, white can simply wait uh, king g3, king h2, and uh, black cannot make any progress. So after uh, g5, uh, there is a, a real fortress on the board, and uh, black uh, cannot uh, win the game. And it was a pity that uh, I didn't find this uh, excellent opportunity to make a draw uh, when the draw was uh, so close. And you see uh, how important uh, to make correct decision in the position where you have uh, a choice. So, uh, and now uh, I would like uh, to show you another game played in uh, the same tournament in uh, US uh, Senior Championship. And, uh, sorry, how to switch the games? This right one. Oh, okay, oh. thank you. Uh, I played uh, with white. Uh, this game was played uh, in the last uh, round of the tournament. And uh, Joel uh, Benjamin uh, played uh, with black. And we started uh, as uh, queen. Queen's Indian, b6, g3, bishop a6, b3, bishop b4 check, bishop d2, bishop e7, bishop g2. That's quite popular uh, system, and black uh, often use the system in his play. Castle, castle, knight c3, bishop b7. Uh, the usual uh, plan here for white is to play rook c1 or queen c2, then bishop f4. Uh, and black often uh, play uh, with uh, hanging pawns uh, after c5, d takes c5, or with isolated uh, g pawn. Uh, taken back on c5 uh, with a piece, with a knight, for example. And uh, black uh, often use uh, this uh, setup uh, to play for a win. Uh, and uh, one of the uh, main positions here is to uh, play with a white bishop on b2. And also uh, that position uh, can be, uh, you, you can get this position with bishop on b2 from uh, different openings. Uh, bishop c1 uh, looks like uh, wasting time, but uh, after knight b7 or uh, knight a6 and bishop b2, uh, we get uh, the usual uh, position because uh, black uh, wasted time for uh, bishop b4 and uh, bishop b4 check, bishop e7 back, and uh, bishop a6, bishop b7 back, so he lost two tempos, and white also lost two tempos for uh, bishop d2, bishop c1, bishop b2. And uh, we got the usual position uh, from uh, Boga Indian 
uh, defense uh, with uh, bishop b7 instead of bishop a6. And uh, this uh, is also possible, bishop b2. And instead of uh, playing with hanging or isolated uh, pawn on uh, d5, or hanging pawns uh, d5 and c5, uh, JL decided to play in the center. He played uh, knight e4, uh, and he set up probably to trade knights, and then to put his bishop on d6, uh, to play queen e7, and trying to play on the king side. Uh, so here, I need uh, to decide what to do. Rook c1 is uh, usual move, but what to do after uh, knight takes c3? Uh, white has uh, different plans. Uh, first plan is uh, to capture on c3 with a rook, then playing queen c1 and trying to trade dark square bishop. Uh, bishops uh, after uh, bishop a3. Actually, uh, it is a quite a useful for white to trade uh, dark square bishops in this position uh, to uh, weaken c7 pawn. And uh, if uh, white is able uh, to trade dark square bishops, then uh, black will be forced uh, to push his pawn to c6 or uh, to c5, uh, getting uh, positions which uh, could be better for white. And so uh, what to do? Uh, what is better uh, to capture on c3 with rook or with bishop? I decided uh, to take with a bishop with Another plan to play maybe b4 to prevent c5 move. And also, uh, I, uh, white is uh, still uh, ready uh, to uh, play on the uh, queen side. So I play, I took on uh, c3 with the bishop. After rook takes c3, uh, bishop d6, queen c1. Rook e8, rook c2, uh, white is trying uh, to use his plan and queen e7, uh, preventing uh, bishop a3. And now white uh, can start with knight e5. And probably uh, this position was uh, slightly uh, better uh, for white. After knight takes e5, for example, uh, trading the pawns, uh, rook takes c7. But uh, anyway, uh, black has good chances to equalize. He can play either rook c8, rook a to c8, or bishop a6, attacking e2 pawn, and position is uh, approximately equal here. However, uh, white uh, could try uh, to play uh, for a win because of uh, isolated pawn at the final position. And uh, uh, slight chances to get some advantage. But uh, I uh, decided to take on c3 uh, with a bishop, rook e8, knight e5 immediately. Uh, probably uh, it was better to play a plan with b4, like uh, I intended to play uh, after bishop takes c3. And after b4, bishop d6, Rook e1 or e3, knight f6, knight e4, bishop b2, and uh, white is ready 
to play on the uh, queen side, probably to play e3, then maybe rook e2, rook e2, rook e2 to c2, uh, knight e5, uh, trying to put his knight on c6, or knight d3. So white is slightly better in the center, and black uh, should wait uh, for white's play. Uh, so, but I started with knight e5. Uh, here, uh, knight takes e5 is quite dangerous because a pawn on uh, d5 uh, is vulnerable uh, for black. Uh, and if black protects it with c6 move, then e4 uh, can be very strong. So after knight e5, black played bishop d6, again uh, queen c2, uh, it's not so good to, to uh, take pawn on e5, knight takes e5, d takes e5, bishop takes e5, uh, because pawn on e7 is hanging, and after that the pawn on d5 will be weak. Uh, so uh, black played knight f6, rook fd1, and a5. It's very important move preventing before and that's why uh, probably uh, white uh, should start uh, his play on the queen side with b3 to b4 move after a5 uh, I, I need uh, uh, to change my plan and here uh, probably uh, it should be to put my knight on g3 playing maybe e3 somewhere and uh, trying to play b3 to b4 trading the pawns and at the end uh, also trading dark square bishops weakening uh, c7 uh, pawn so i started here with e3 queen c8 knight d3 knight e4 bishop e1 uh, white is ready to play uh, b4 I didn't uh, like to uh, give uh, black to trade his knight for the dark square bishop because my plan uh, is b4 and to trade dark square bishop uh, dark square uh, white bishop uh, for a dark square uh, black bishop uh, because uh, bishop d6 is uh, protecting c7 square. So I played uh, bishop e1, and now uh, black started very interesting attack. Uh, there is a question why uh, before is so important here. Uh, as I said, uh, that bef before is important uh, that uh, b because I need to trade dark square bishops uh, to weaken uh, c7 square. That's why uh, white is trying to play b4, a takes b4, bishop takes b4. After that, pawn on c7 will be weak and you can create uh, threats uh, to weak uh, black pawns. But uh, waiting uh, for this, uh, preparing for uh, this before move, uh, black starting a very nice uh, attack uh, with knight g5 move. And here was another uh, position where I needed uh, to make a correct decision. Uh, what is uh, black's idea? Uh, the main, uh, his idea to put his queen on uh, g4 and then play knight f3, uh, creating threats to the king and also trying uh, to trade uh, his knight for the light square bishops. To weak, because uh, light square bishops, uh, light squares uh, around uh, white king 
are very weak. And uh, the last Quay Bishop is the only piece which uh, protects uh, all uh, those uh, squares. So uh, here I needed to decide whether Queen G4 uh, continuing with uh, Knight F3 is uh, a strong threat or I need uh, to prevent uh, this plan. And it seems that H4 preventing uh, this attack, uh, Queen G4 and Knight F3, was uh, more precise uh, here. And after h4, knight e4, or uh, let's start with knight e6, before, a takes before, bishop takes before, queen d7. And here, uh, white can start with uh, knight c6. Uh, and uh, black pawns on the queen side uh, can be uh, weak here. Uh, also, if uh, after h4, black plays knight e4, then uh, b4 is uh, also very strong, uh, weakening uh, black pawns on the uh, queen side. After a takes before, bishop takes before, uh, Knight on e4, uh, black knight on e4 is uh, play placed even worse because uh, it's uh, not protecting c7 square. So uh, probably h4 uh, in this position uh, deserved serious attention. But uh, I uh, took my decision to play before immediately uh, because uh, I, I thought that uh, I will have enough time uh, to defend my king uh, and uh, to create weaknesses on the queen side at the same time. So uh, I played, I started with before, queen g4. Now what to do? Uh, of course, uh, white uh, could try uh, to play here king h1 with idea knight f3, h3, attacking the queen, queen h5 and queen e2. Queen. But uh, uh, in this case, white is sim simply uh, wasting time. So I uh, calculated variation uh, b takes a5, knight f3 take on f3, queen and take f3. And now uh, I realized that I missed a uh, very important uh, move. Uh, for example, after it takes uh, b6, I was going uh, to play uh, after uh, bishop uh, c8, bishop b4, But uh, uh, no, no. Uh, after a takes uh, b6, uh, uh, bishop c8, bishop b4, bishop uh, is not possible because of bishop takes b4, knight takes b4, uh, bishop h3. Uh, but uh, my idea was to play uh, bishop c3, and I uh, missed. Uh, Bishop f5 move, very strong move, after which uh, black queens exchange here. Uh, bishop h3 is not a good opportunity uh, because of knight e1. But after uh, bishop f5, uh, white cannot do anything here. Bishop e4 is a threat. And uh, if knight e1, then uh, black simply capture queen on c2. Then uh, after knight takes f3, bishop takes d1, and uh, black wins material. But and here, after 
get in this position, I need to uh, make another uh, decision which was critical what to do. Also, uh, after A takes uh, B6, Bishop C, uh, C8, Bishop D2 is bad because of uh, uh, Bishop F5. So I missed uh, this opportunity and uh, now I, I needed to make decision uh, how to save the game. Uh, Knight F4 suggested uh, by Robust is not working because uh, Black simply uh, captured on F4 with a bishop from d6 and then bishop h3 is winning. So in this position also uh, it was possibility to play uh, queen b2 uh, but now uh, instead of bishop c8 uh, bishop uh, b4 with idea knight one uh, black has a very good attack after h5 and if bishop b4, then simply take, take, knight e1, queen f5, and here uh, look uh, how strong is uh, black's attack. For example, after rook takes c7, black can uh, play rook takes a2. And here knight d3 protecting f2 pawn, queen f3. The rook on uh, d1 is hanging, queen b1 and h4. Uh, what to do? Uh, after uh, rook b7, h3 is winning uh, because uh, pawn on f2 is hanging. Uh, there is no uh, knight f4. A move. Knight f4, then. Uh, Queen takes f2. If uh, king f1 here, then uh, uh, queen h1 uh, checkmate again. So uh, white has uh, to capture pawn on h4, but after this, uh, queen g4 check and bishop a6, uh, black gets very strong attack. So, what to do? What decision uh, to make? And here, uh, unfortunately, I didn't uh, calculate uh, the variation I intended to play uh, plan before until uh, the very end. Uh, it seems that A takes b6 was possible to play but I needed to find very nice opportunity for white bishop c8 now the threat is bishop h3 win so I, I need to, to move my bishop from e1 and the best move was bishop b4 as I intended to play Uh, when I played before, uh, but why this move is uh, possible? Here, bishop takes before, knight takes before, black wins after bishop h3. So, what uh, white can do here? Why uh, bishop before uh, is good move here? Can you find explanation why white can uh, play bishop before here? It turns out that after a bishop before bishop uh, takes before, 
now uh, bishop f5 is not working uh, here uh, white can simply uh, trade uh, bishop he can capture uh, bishop takes d6 and after bishop e4 uh, there is no checkmate because white is ready to run with the king and after c takes d6 king e1 white is safe and he has uh, two extra pounds on the queen side so bishop f5 is a bet here in this position but what to do after the bishop takes b4 knight takes b4 lost immediately and suddenly white has b7 move this intermediate move is uh, helping uh, to uh, defend all squares now if uh, black uh, plays uh, bishop h3 then after knight f4 the square uh, g2 is protected uh, the bishop on h3 is hanging the pawn on b7 is hanging so uh, after knight f4 white is simply uh, winning here for example after rook takes uh, rook a uh, to b8 and taking on uh, b7 uh, white can win another pawn here after queen takes h7 and white has uh, two extra pawns and uh, winning position so uh, bishop h3 is bad here what to do bishop f5 is also bad because uh, black does have a time uh, to uh, give checkmate uh, uh, after b takes queen rook takes queen c6 and uh, white wins here because uh, the rook is hanging rook takes a2 here with idea bishop h3 and attacking uh, pawn on f2 uh, uh, b uh, rook takes a2 that does help and can you find y please uh, write in the chat queen a8 okay queen a8 bishop f8 now bishop h3 is very strong threat what to do rook c7 is possible but uh, i can play uh, bishop h3 and black uh, is better yeah you can play uh, queen takes f7 immediately uh, right queen takes f7 and uh, there is a fork knight f5 knight f3 uh, winning the game uh, if a black plays rook f8 here then uh, white can simply capture the bishop and uh, bishop h3 uh, is not uh, good because of queen takes d5 i can protect g2 square from d5 and if bishop e4 then again white having extra rook uh, can simply run with the king king e1 and a white uh, wins here so uh, black has to divert his uh, bishop uh, from h3 square bishop takes b7 knight b4 
uh, bishop c8 back and what to do now uh, there is threat uh, bishop h3 knight uh, g3 here then uh, black has very strong move uh, bishop f5 with idea bishop e4 and again uh, knight e1 is, lo uh, is worse for white because of uh, bishop, bishop takes c2 win exchange and uh, black's position uh, should be much better so uh, what to do in this position what is defense out of bishop h3 queen c6 uh, also uh, bad because of uh, bishop f5 queen c6 attacking uh, rooks on e8 and eight but black can play uh, bishop f5 and uh, queen takes d5 does help because of uh, bishop e4 win the game so uh, what a white can do here and in this position it's not necessary to attack d pawn from c6 white can play queen b3 now uh, bishop h3 uh, white has queen takes d5 move but what to do after uh, bishop f5 with idea bishop e4 can you find the defense how to react for uh, to bishop f5 move bishop f4 is very strong threat queen takes d5 doesn't work but white has an excellent idea knight, knight uh, d5 is also uh, bad uh, because of uh, bishop e4 knight d5 would be okay uh, after bishop h3 knight f4 but uh, bishop e4 uh, wins and white has an excellent idea e4 after e4 uh, white is trading queens getting slightly a better position for example at the uh, bishop takes e4 queen takes f3 rook d3 uh, white is slightly better because uh, his pawns are protected and uh, it's not so easy to defend c7 and d5 uh, pawns uh, for example uh, after uh, bishop f4 rook d3 uh, white the pawn on c7 is hanging also f3 uh, might be a threat also uh, white can uh, defend his uh, pawn uh, moving to f3 and, uh, white is slightly better probably uh, black uh, has good chances uh, for a draw but uh, white should play this way so my first intention was correct uh, but here uh, white should play uh, a takes uh, b6 with idea uh, bishop b4 and then uh, b7 in the game i made a bad decision i played uh, bishop c3 and here a black uh, got very good uh, chances for attack on the king side because now white 
light squares are very weak. So in the game, it was played b takes a5, knight a1, queen h5, and uh, black has uh, very strong bishops. Bishop on d6 uh, cannot be traded now, and light square bishop uh, is going to join attack either through a6 square or through c7, uh, c8, and uh, I was not able uh, to hold this position. Uh, bishop e2 is a threat, so I played f3, rook e6, take, rook e8, and uh, Joel uh, found uh, excellent idea uh, to create very strong attack on the king. Uh, rook c3, uh, protecting uh, e3 pawn, but uh, he found f5, a move with idea f4, uh, open up uh, either e file or g file uh, for his rooks. For example, after e takes f4, it will be a rook e2 thread. After g takes f4, uh, a g file uh, is also open for the, his rook. After knight g2, even after uh, knight g2, a black played f4, and uh, white's position is hopeless. Uh, for example, if I uh, take g takes f4, black can continue. Uh, rook g6, with queen takes f3 thread. Uh, for example, uh, bishop takes c7, queen takes f3, and now uh, After rook e1, uh, because uh, rook takes g2 is a threat, and also after rook e1, uh, bishop b4 is possible. If uh, white uh, takes on uh, d6, then simply bishop e2 winning. So here, uh, after queen f2, instead of uh, bishop takes c7, black wins uh, with. Uh, bishop f4 and uh, after e takes e4 uh, rook e2 uh, winning the queen so uh, i played queen f2 but uh, position uh, is uh, absolutely uh, lost here g5 uh, black queens a knight and uh, in a few moves uh, game uh, finished uh, because uh, white's position is completely lost. So you see how important to, to make correct decision in the critical uh, position. One uh, incorrect move uh, can lead to the loss of the game. And, uh, thank you uh, for joining uh, me for this lecture and I hope that uh, ideas I uh, showed here how to make uh, decision in, uh, in critical positions uh, could be useful for you in your games.